Uh, OK, we're going to talk about green-fingered thingy-majiggies. Well, green-fingered, I, I would say I'm quite good at gardening. I love gardening, but rubbish with houseplants. Horticulture would be a good career. It would. I would always mm. say I'd like to have been a gardener. Um, but I'm rubbish with houseplants. And, you know, when you go on holiday and you think, oh, what are we going to do with the plants? Or you forget them and come back and they're all dead. Or you've asked a neighbour to water them and they've forgotten. Well, you don't have to worry about that now because you can check your plants into a hotel. Get out yeah, of it. Honestly, this is true. What, you bring a, a plant to a hotel. You take your plant. Yeah, it might be a treasured plant. It might be something an aspidistra your granny left you or something. Okay. So it's you like putting it. your dog in a kennel. Yes, it is. You put your plant. You put your plant in. It's in the hotel. You go off on holiday and they nurture it and water it oh. and polish it. There's a first world problem for you, isn't it? It's just yeah. a thing. It's a thing. So you jet off and they go you off. You jet off and when you come back, your hotel. beloved plants will hopefully be well looked after. So we weren't sure if we even believed this, but we sent David Dominey to have a look, and it is a thing. An exclusive brand-new hotel has opened in London. A hotel so exclusive, they don't just let anyone stay. Where only the who's who of a very select group are invited through these doors. Thank you, Peter. But this isn't a hotel for you or me. Oh, no. Welcome to the Patch Plant Hotel, a place for you to bring your indoor plant when you go away so they're not left to fend for themselves. Just book your beloved botanical to stay. It's a holiday for your houseplant. I'm meeting co-founder Freddie Blackett to find out more. So, Freddie, where did this idea first come from for a, a houseplant hotel? Well, it was, a, it was a problem that I think a lot of people have faced, is going away on, on holiday and worrying about what their plants are going to look like when they get home. And, and what's the response been like? Have you had people banging at the doors with their begonias and their bougainvilleas? Yeah, amazing. We've already had 100 people booking their plants in for, uh, for, a, for a stay. Are there different services that are available? We offer a luxury service for all our plants, a relaxation spa treatment uh, and, uh, and a massage on a daily basis, so tending to the foliage to make sure that we're uh, removing any dust uh, and, uh, and making sure it looks in tip-top shape when its owner comes back to collect it. Ooh la la! The plants are well and truly pampered with a range of treatments on offer to help the guests turn over a new leaf. From a bespoke hydration spa to the tranquil sounds of... Music therapy. Yes, you heard that correctly. Hopefully Steve can explain more. Steve, you're guest liaison I are you David. the manager so you looking after all of these plants do you play music to them we do we generally have music playing in the warehouse with the plants and what sort of thing what is it Robert Robert plant is it <laughs> the Kaiser leaves or <laughs> even Adele Finium uh, anything anything like that we tend to we tend to go for more uh, music with more of a, a hard beat uh, plants seem to respond well to uh, a bit of heavy rock <laughs> just wanted to let you know I've booked my plant in. But if it tries to book any extras, put anything on the room, that's a definite okay, no. So okay, so basic, no, no basic rate only, a basic, no basic credit package. card. Basic package, I've let them know that. Okay. Thanks, Steve. Okay. Thanks very much. Sounds great, but not everyone wants a botanical babysitter. So if your indoor plants fancy a staycation rather than a long-haul trip to the houseplant hotel, here are some garden hacks to keep them looking plantastic. Glossy leaf plants can get a build-up of dust. By cleaning the leaves, it makes them healthier plants. Add a squeeze of citrus to some water. Look how much dirt has come off that. Now, the next thing you can do is to give it a bit of a shine. Now, there's a lot of expensive leaf shines that are out there, but I just use mayonnaise. Dab some mayonnaise onto a cloth and then wipe the leaf. Oh, look at that. See the shine coming through. We need to water our plants, but over-watering them can kill them. As you can see, the plant ends up just sitting in water like that. Now, that starts to rot the roots and it kills plants so very quickly. Here's a great tip to stop houseplants sitting in water and still create good humidity. All you need is a bowl, either a cereal bowl or even a saucer. Then add a little bit of gravel in the bottom. Or well, if you haven't got gravel, you can use a little bit of uh, cat litter, unused, of course. Put a bit of gravel in the bottom and add some water. You don't want the water to be above the gravel. You want it to be underneath. So when you put a house plant on it, the plant's not sitting in water and therefore won't rot the roots. Now they're quenched, they need some food. But if you haven't got proper houseplant fertiliser, you needn't fear. A cracking trick is to add eggshells to your watering can. It's a great source of calcium. No eggs? Well, 
you can feed with some tea. It's really the cold tea at the end. I dilute it, I don't like putting it in too strong. It's a natural source of, uh, of nitrogen which will help the plant leaves grow, so you can use that to water in. But if you haven't got any of that, the safest option is sugar, a natural source of energy. Some sweet tricks, but sadly, all good holidays have to come to an end. Well, it's time for me and my pampered pot plant to check out at the House Plant Hotel. Did you enjoy yourself? The foliage massage? You're not getting any of that when we get back home. Have some baby bio and like it. Well, you've got to look after them. It's a good idea, isn't it? Mm, well, Interesting idea. OK, do we have any house plants? No, cos I kill them all. I can't grow house plants. Oh, no, yeah, so we never need to worry about it. We do outdoors, but just can never keep them alive. I just, I just think I forget them when they're indoors. Mm. Like your husband? Like your husband, yeah. yeah. OK.